Shalom, Yashallah, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Most High Yahweh. I do so in the name of His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Yasharala. Call Holoyim Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Harakak Wadash. For blessing our elders with the spirit of truth so that we may know. Shout out to the Akim and the Akwaf that's keeping the faith and the work. Shall keep at it. This is your brother Abai coming at you with more precepts. This is the book of Job, chapter 9, and verse 24 says, The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. He covers the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where and who is he? Right? That's what I by Yahweh. The earth given into the hand of the wicked. But see, the thing of it is, it's not forever and ever, even forever. Their honor is bestowed upon the Most High's people, his saints. All right? As far as this devil go, go to the book of Ecclesiastes um, chapter 3 and verse 1. It says, to everything there is a season and a time to every purpose under the heaven. Right? It's the devil's season, but his season is coming to an end. And we're seeing that end uh, transpire all around the world. Right? And ain't no denying it and ain't no hiding it. All right, it is what it is. Now that devil got to deal with the fruits of his labor. All right? Let me go to um the book of Proverbs. Proverbs chapter 16 and verse 4. It says, Yahweh hath made all things for himself, yea, even the wicked for the day of evil. They have a, a specific purpose, and they have a, a certain uh, allotment to fulfill. And that's it. They can't go beyond that, right? It, I, don't, I, I really don't care how proud they feel they are, and they really are proud. You know what I'm saying? They really do believe they can start their kingdom over from scratch and create some new um, wicked utopia. But that's not so, because it ain't written in this word, All right? And like I said, we seeing it, All right? Let me go to um, let me go to book to the book of Job. Job chapter fourteen, and um, verse five. It says, seeing his days are determined, the number of his months are with thee. Thou hast appointed his bounds that he cannot pass. The time that the Most High got for these devils to reign is set. And they can't go beyond that. All right? And it's to the point to where now, like I said, we are seeing it. We're seeing the Most High visit this place, visit this kingdom. All right? And it's a prophecy about... You know what I'm saying? Um, this kingdom and and another in the past because it's intertwining, right? Let me go to um the book of Daniel. Let's see. Daniel chapter five and verse twenty-four. All right, so this is really about um the Persians and the Medes. Um, you know, taking over Babylon, but <laughs> this place has been found wanting too, right? So the book of Daniel chapter five and um, verse 25, it says, and this is the writing that was written, many, many tekel farsa. This is the interpretation of the thing. Many power has numbered thy kingdom and finished it. All right, this place has a time and it cannot go beyond that time. All right, so the Most High is visiting this place now. That's why we're seeing all the end time prophecies happen at the same time. All right, it says, Tekel, thou art weighed in the balances and art found wanting. You shout. All right, so you have to pay back all that you sold on this earth and that payback coming so soon and he know it too deep down he really know it he just trying to figure out a way to cheat it 
But ain't no cheating, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai. Right? The creator of all things. Can't cheat him. It is what it is. You just gonna have to deal with what you've done. You've been proud so far. Keep up the pride. Right? Um, it's a lot. Run to one second. Uh, all right. Um, since the devil has been in in charge, he he's had a specific job, and he's done his job thoroughly. Right, the devil's job has been to basically destroy. Um, Yasharala, or uh, or come close as possible, rather, right to destroying Yasharala, and he did that, right. Took away our culture, took away our memory, took away our name, took away everything, right. Set us down at the bottom of this world, created a whole new identity, right. A fake history behind that fake identity, right. And has been treating us <laughs> in all sorts of manners since we've been under his rule. All right, let me go to the book of Matthew. Matthew chapter 11. And um, verse 12 it says and from the days of john the baptist until now the kingdom of heaven suffered violence and the violent take it by force right we've been suffering violence man right that's why i bring this point out quite often man that's why we're rooting for this place to fall because we understand the end of this place is the beginning of ours right the end of the heartache the end of the oppression Right, but this devil got to get out the way. He got to get out the way, man. All the lies and everything, even all the way up to like the U the Ukraine Russia Russia um war, right? How they keep pushing the narrative that this is actually just Ukraine and Russia. This was never just Ukraine and Russia. It has always been. The daughter of Babylon, which is America, and Ukraine and NATO against Russia. From day one, it's been that. But they keep pushing that narrative that this just small little Ukraine and they putting up a real deal fight against Russia. So people should stop respecting Russia like that. And I ain't speaking all on Russia behalf because they devils too. Right and at the end of the day. Both y'all laughing to go eat. Well, the daughter of Babylon, you done. You finna get burnt up. But the higher ups that associate themselves with the daughter of Babylon and um, the Russian Empire, all y'all are going in the chains. According to the word, according to Isaiah chapter 14, according to Revelation chapter 13, right? All y'all lads and, and your partners, everybody associated with you, according to the word of the most high. And how about Shimmy Howard Shah is the one that's going to do it. Right? But y'all just got to finish each other off right quick. So go and get the thing started, man. Stop playing. Your time up. Your time up. Go and start pushing buttons. Go and start uh, implementing these laws because your house speeding up the time. You can't even stop it, man. It ain't even in our hands. It's in the hands of your how about Shimmy Howard Shah. All right? Like I said, and like Script said. <laughs> Yeah, your time is finished. <laughs> Call hello and me. How about you? How was shot? Right. So, because these devils have been operating how they've been operating, how we're taking the kingdom away from them. Right. Let me go to the book of Sirach. Uh, Sirach, chapter ten. And verse 8, this is the end of y'all kingdom, right? Because most I say, we supposed to say, most high will this and most high will that. So I don't, I'm not speaking none of this as a man. This is all spiritual. This is all in faith, all through faith, man. Because enough is enough. Look at the way, look at, look at how the world is, man, how wicked it is. 
Look how freely they push wickedness on all ages. You ain't got to pay for it. It's just there. You walk out the door, it's there. You cut the TV on, it's there. You listen to the radio, it's just there. Enough is enough, man. Right? It's the book of Sirach, chapter 10, and verse 8. Because of unrighteous dealings, injuries, and riches got by deceit, the kingdom is translated from one people to another. Right? Now, these higher-ups really do believe they finna translate this kingdom into their hands and, to, uh, and, and create a, a whole new uh, digital world where man and computer are, are, are one. That's this whole trans thing. Right. Let's, let's make it normal for for the phrase trans to be introduced in the world and for whatever you feel like you can be. These people don't just do things just to be doing things, man. It's called conditioning. Check their history. <laughs> Scripture say there's no new thing under the sun. They done did it before. They doing it now. All right. Let me go to the book of. Uh, let me see. Let me go to the book of Colossians so we can see who this kingdom is translated to. All right. Um, Colossians chapter 1 and verse 12, it says, Giving thanks unto the Father, which hath made us meet or good, to be partakers of the inheritance of the saints in light who hath delivered us from the power of darkness and hath translated us into the kingdom of his dear son. All right. Yahweh Shai, Hamashiach, Wamalak. All right. That's what this is all about, man. This kingdom is being translated from the wicked to the righteous. Because it was always meant to be so. It was written, it was written so many years before it actually came to pass. Right? So many generations before it actually came to pass. And now we're seeing it. How about you now? Like I said, this devil is really trying to take it into some digital um slash human and they have a name for it it's called transhumanism look it up man look this information up it's called transhumanism where they merge machine with man they've been pushing the idea in front of our eyes for so many years via their media media through the movies through the tv shows pushing the idea through the music <laughs> right talking about facts man but at the end of the day, they will not succeed because it's not written for them to succeed. It's written for them to go so far, then fall short in a horrible way and end up in fire and chains. So with that, how about Shemir Hawashai Ratazah, these precepts in this video were edifying. Kol Haloyim Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai Bahashim Harakakudash Shalom Yashallah.